Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another SLG meetup. Today we are at a very special place. We are at the Arsenal store here in Miami and we have with us Patrice, a marketer, entrepreneur, publisher and the creative mind of the future. Welcome. Yeah, that's a good introduction. Thank you very much. Welcome guys in the Arsenal. <laughs> so we are here with Patrice who is going to be talking about what the Arsenal is about, which just to give a quick summary of it, I believe it's like the perfect combination of all the future luxury items that we have in mind. So right behind us, what is this exactly? It looks like a yellow submarine. <laughs> it's a yellow submarine? It's a yellow submarine, so yeah. So imagine, you have a yellow submarine in your store and we'll give a little tour after, but this is very incredible because we wanted to discuss a little bit about the story behind Patrice, how he came from France with this incredible idea of taking the Arsenal to the next level. So tell us a little bit about your story and what the Arsenal is about. Yeah, so I'm uh, 44 years old. I'm coming from uh, France, Paris. Um, I came in the US two years ago. It was one of my uh, dream when I was a kid. I mean, when, you, when you're French it's, uh, or Spanish, it's, it's always a dream to uh, achieve something in the US because it's the next, next market. And uh, I have spent all my life working about the subject of mobility. So uh, mobility is cars, planes, yachts, jets, skateboarding. It's a, it's a really passionate universe because it's uh, first it's things made by, by humans. So mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's fantastic to, uh, to work with such great engineers, designers, people who uh, I always say that, but wake up a day and say, I'm going to make a submarine brand. So I was uh, always passionate about that. So I started my career in, uh, in France 25 years ago by being a publisher of a magazine. I was making a, a quite famous magazine called Intersection. Um, founded a, an agency because when you do a magazine, you are, and you know that, uh, you are in contact with a lot of persons and you also have a lot of insight, a lot of culture, a lot of things to say about that in industry. You are really an insider. So you can provide a lot of content, a lot of advices, a lot of services and production to brands. So I started to work with uh, uh, Nissan and then Renault and then Toyota and I have worked with uh, all the car companies in, in the market. Um, in Europe, I, uh, I succeed to be successful um, and daily work, seven days a week. Uh, <laughs> that, that's the formula, right? Every day, every day. And uh, it was uh, it was quite a, a long journey, but uh, I was I was happy by doing what I was doing. So I think it's really a key of uh, in life, doing what you like and being happy for that and uh, trying to make the best of what you can do. And uh, four years ago, I decided to make a, a little bit change in my in my plan. And uh, because when you are a, an agency or a magazine, you deliver a service. So you are the guy who will say, oh, you should buy this product, look at that, it's cool, but you are not the, the operator, you are not the seller. So mm -hmm. I, I was missing a point in the, in the, in the global uh, picture. So I decided to uh, rebuild my, my, my project under a bigger uh, name, a bigger project, a bigger umbrella brand. And uh, Arsenal comes from Venezia in Italy. Mm -hmm. It was the first shipyard uh, founded by Marco Polo uh, in the 16th century. So it's a, it was a beautiful, strong name. And the, the project behind the Arsenal was to create the first federation of the independent builders. So the idea was to really create that ecosystem and develop that, that big idea under a lot of different uh, uh, ways and funnels. You mentioned something very good, you know, you come from that background of marketing and publisher and the creative thinking mind. I think that our world is evolving so quickly that to see all the things that are ahead for us are, you know, so exciting. And one of the things are the flying cars. You know, you were making a quick point on, on the flying cars. And right now there's a few companies that are putting all their efforts into that. and. I look at you as the brand that could represent all these future items, you know, that we are we're getting. So, with that being said, what are some of the exciting projects that you guys have going on? Because you mentioned a few cool ones. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a it's a it's a long question, and there is some uh, some really interesting point in, in that. First, I would like to talk about the the power of the brand because uh, mm -hmm. now a brand is everything. For a person, it's his name, but we can also talk about personal branding. Uh, you can do all your efforts to, to achieve that. There is also something a little bit about the magic touch around that. And uh, 
Uh, I think we succeeded that with the Arsenal because the name was strong, because the art direction was really strict, because the subject and the way we were doing the things was, were, was always really um, on purpose and uh, with a lot of uh, reflection behind, a lot of strategy and, uh, and we always keep the same font, the same typo, the same logo, the same graphic appliance. So there is a, a lot of job behind the brand and, and we succeed to become what we call a love brand and a love brand is really a, a, key, a key success. Uh, That's great. I mean, it seems like uh, you're doing phenomenal. It's with okay. The brand. Yeah, it's I mean, okay. it's a lot of potential. Ahead, it's okay. So. And concerning the second part of the question regarding the what 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 what, what are the most amazing projects I've been involved. It's a, it's a tough question because uh, all, all of the, the projects I'm touching are quite crazy. So that, that's really one of my uh, trademark. Uh, so I've been shooting and working on the design of concept cars and I have met all the most crazy people in my life I could expect, <laughs> like Elon Musk, Lewis Hamilton and all these crazy people. So I have achieved a lot of, a lot of stuff. But one of my main subjects right now is, is, uh, is about the flying cars, uh, what we call VTOL for vertical uh, ascending uh, object. The next five years, we're going to ev evolve more than the last, 20. The last 20 years. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the first thing. The second thing is um, uh, it's a new market uh, with new players. Imagine that there is actually 52 players in the market. And no, no one in the in the mass market, no one of these brands. Uh, Boeing is ba is part of the, of it as a, one of the major players. But you have 52 br brands, 52 guys who are trying to to work on that. And the last point is also the the big urban congestions. There is no sense to drive anymore. And I, I, I it's it's a it's a guy who is passionate about that who is telling you that there is no sense to buy a car uh, to transport two tons of metals uh, on 20 miles, taking risk. Uh, getting fine, being, uh, get, getting in trouble. It's a mess. It's a mess. And also it's creating, uh, uh, not just the CO2, uh, um, uh, things by the exhaust, but it's also creating a lot of stress in the city. True. So the idea is how we can use an over level of, of roads. And I am, I have created a, a concept which is the third road. The first road is the one on the floor. Mm -hmm. The second road is the one used by the, the, the planes. And the, the third road is really the, the road behind that, the level behind, the, b between the, the, the road, so the, basically the, the skyscrapers, mm -hmm. above the skyscrapers, and the, the, the level of the planes. And when you consider that, that, that new roads opening, you have a lot of things also coming on the market, a lot of possibility. Uh, for example, the toll, how are we going to pay to use that air? Who are, who are the players able to deliver the products? Uh, actually, you have more than 100 brands of cars on the market. Why not 100 brands of flying cars from different typology? The one used by Uber, exactly. and the one used mm -hmm. to go to the restaurant with your girlfriend, the, the sports one, the economical one, uh, and also the way we're going we're gonna to interact because we're going to uh, reduce the time of, of transportation by 10. I mean, great. That seems like an excellent game plan to move forward. Yeah. And um, that's the future. You know, I think that's where we're heading and you said something super interesting, which is how in five years we're going to be evolving more than what we've evolved in the last 20 years. When it comes to luxury, mm -hmm. right, because obviously you are surrounding yourself and you're working directly with some of the most creative minds and with some of the products that a lot of people will consider, you know, unattainable because it's such incredible products. So with what we're facing right now and the products that we have in mind. What is really luxury to you? Yeah, Alors, the definition of luxury is something that you can write again and again, days after days, and also it's really linked to uh, who is talking about the luxury, because luxury is a, is a subconscious idea. Uh, luxury can be different for every kind of person. For the mass, pe for the, for the mass market, luxury is luxury brands. Uh, like uh, having a Gucci bag and stuff like that. For me, it's not at all that. Uh, I don't care about having, uh, I could have any watch I want, I don't wear any watch. Uh, if I want to, to have the time, I look at my iPhone. My luxury is, uh, is, is, is time and uh, wellness and uh, culture. So I put all my money into feeding my brain. So you see the difference uh, about that notion of luxury. What is really luxury now? And the luxury concept is really evolving. Um, but the standard of luxury is, uh, is, is, is being able to, uh, to afford the life you want. 
so finally, the luxury is, is, is if you consider that, that notion of, of, of accessing to your dream, is also based on what, you, what, you got, what, what are your skills, what, are, what is your goal in life, and are you able to fit your goals with your skills and your energy. And the real luxury is when you get the, when you get access to your skill to your to your goals with your skills. So it's it's really a, a, I would say more a psychological vision than a, than a materialistic uh, vision. Mm -hmm. Totally, and it's a good way of putting it. And I love that question because everybody has a different concept of what luxury is all about. And I love you know the concept of time and the evolve you know the evolution and evolving towards something even better. So that that's our good uh, points that you made over there. Now. With what we've been facing, right? Because it's been a really interesting year for yeah. lots of us, yeah. right? If yeah. not for all. So for you and the business, yeah. what are some of the areas that you've emphasized the most to really evolve? Because not not you're surviving, you're actually evolving. Yeah. So what you've been Yeah, doing? we have uh, um, multiply our income by four mm -hmm. last year. So it's crazy because the this first of first first of all, I think it's a it's a crazy uh, shit show. Uh, sorry for that words, but uh, I have I have my uh, my point of view on that on that thing, and uh, it's it's not really funny because we are. I think it's 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 a way to control the mass simply. So it's not that fun. Uh, people consider that it's a disease, but it's mo much more than a political statement. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, when I was really um, considering that new world, because it's going to be a new world, uh, there is two ways to uh, to react. The first is uh, being super sad, disappointed, and and say, okay, the world will not be the same, it's difficult, we cannot ship, we have no client, etc. The other way is to say, okay, uh, life is a game and the change of the game are constantly changing and the new rules are tough. Okay, the new rules, it's, uh, it's more local markets, but it's also international market in another way. Uh, we're not going to travel, we're going to be more responsible, more ecological. And uh, when I started, when that, 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 that phase started, I decided to accelerate. Uh, because I thought it was the right moment to, 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 to work four times more than before. And I was working a lot, but uh, I really decided to really uh, pass the second gear and really accelerate more and work more and develop more because everyone was like being quiet, calm and uh, reducing the speed. So I think it's, it's, it, it's interesting because the, the success can be found during that time in the world where the world is like decreasing and it's where you can get some opportunities. That's great. No, definitely well said. And I agree with you on what we're facing and the mentality on how to look into things moving forward. So yeah. if, you know, I'm sure a lot of potential successful entrepreneurs and those that made it already, I'm listening or watching this, what will be some of the takeaways that you can give? Like if there could be one thing, what would it be? It's, 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 I think vision, vision is, is, is the key and uh, execution because uh, you can get the vision, you can get the ideas, but the execution is, uh, is it's one of the main problems of our era. I mean, there is a lot of ideas, but executing well uh, is tough because with the, the right cash flow, the right project, the right environment, the right product, so the execution is, is, is quite difficult. But I think it's, it's important in nowadays to be extremely visionary and to bring something new uh, on the table. Because if you, um, if you do the same business, uh, if you don't put any innovation on the table, uh, first it's boring and, uh, and you got no chance. Look at the, 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 the big success, the big success like Amazon, like Tesla. These guys are fucking disruptors. Tesla, is, he, he, he was, he was, uh, he had make, make made the, one of the biggest disrup disruptive in, in the in the payment system with PayPal. So, getting an idea which is completely out of the box, which is completely crazy, and go full further on it with the right execution. But if it's not it. disruptive, it's not going to go anywhere. I love it, especially in such a competitive market. I think that's the only way to go. And you come from a really interesting background as a marketer, creative thinker, publisher. So combining that mindset with the tools that we have nowadays, because with yep. technology, I mean, it's so not so easy, but it's such accessible to just get your brand launched with the idea that you have in mind that, you know, you can reach masses right away. Yeah. So I love what you said, and I'm really grateful to be able to have some time here with you. We're going to take a quick look at the store. We'll make some content to share with the audience, but anything else that you would like to share? No, I think it was a, it was a great, uh, a great talk. And I think it's also the future. Uh, of sharing uh, 
content, cultural thing, exchange, discussion, and uh, this is this this is also a great part of, of, of our time because we cannot really travel, so we are more uh, uh, in in that uh, ecosystem of, of close discussion, intimate discussion, and uh, we, we we can share more and, 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 and give more insight to the people around us in these conditions. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much, Patrice, thank you. for being here. And thank you very much. We're looking forward to doing some things together. Cool. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>